Good day, YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. It's a curious little dog, Mufasa, His Royal Highness. The light around the camera scares him, I think. <laughs> so anyway, today working on more sales here and I saw a little dilemma when I was pre-fitting this sale on there and I knew that I hadn't run this main rope underneath the big rope yet I just have the the big rope run and the reason I didn't do that is because I knew that I may have this trouble so in the process of pre-fitting this I went ahead and pre-strung it on this main rope over on the workbench because when I pre-fitted this it's going to go in there like that and you can see that if I would have tried to use that existing line that it would not have worked so We're going to leave enough slack on this big line to tie it off down below on the right and then attempt to tie this off up underneath the crow's nest there. And if I should pull up through and come back down, I got to figure out because I want to come out underneath here. I almost want to drill a hole in there, but that might be worse than I know. So. Let's try this. I'll go up here. Come back down. Let's see if we can get a knot. That might work. you guys where you can see here as much slack as I can on the bottom yeah I think that'll work like that Now, get my pliers so I can really put the
<clears throat> Should be tight. Now we gotta get some glue. So that thing can't come apart. And put the knot there in the middle. So now run this up in there. that one line on tangle from this line and I don't have any glue on the end of this so it's not going to feed through there very easily Need to feed it through that big eyelet there. This bottle's almost empty now. We got a new one though. If you get a, a little bit on there on all the sides. I'm going to take a rag, pull it through the rag so it sort of strips it, clean, but glue is soaked into the fibers. See if it's stiff enough. This one line here is in the way. Hmm. Hopefully this will work. Get on down in there. Yes. Like that. So while this cell was on the bench and we were opening up these little brass rings feeding them through the cloth of the sail and then <clears throat> I had that rope suspended between the vise and those little alligator clip stand before I closed the ring I had that rope hanging there so I could close it around the, the big rope and then I pre took the needle and thread and a little bit of glue on these corners ahead of time to make the corners stiff so when I tie a knot to the corner it doesn't wrinkle up the sail and we got that baby in there so just like all the other sails we 
start tying it off everywhere. We got to put um, a little, another little um, tie-off point. Come up and then go to a baling pin. We got this to go to a pulley, and that to go to a pulley and a baling pin. And then up here, it's got a pulley too. So we got a tie off point with a smaller line up under there and then go through the pulley and then down to a bailing pin. So we'll do that next. And since last week's video, we had that second sail ready to install, but we didn't get to it because of the cable job we were working on. The cable job is done and gone. Checks in the mail. But this morning, first thing, this today's Thursday, it's the first day I've had the chance to work on the ship. Since we did the one below first, so it would be easier to work on this one without without this one being in the way. So we did that one last week and then this morning we installed this second large one. And got that all tied off to its different tie points down here. So we're starting to fill up the baling pin racks. And then I got two more to do before we start on the yard arms. We got a small one in the front and then this small one here in the middle that'll be at the bottom and this one in the middle <clears throat> front's not going to be hard because we got this rope here exposed for it that'll be fairly easy but this one in the middle now <clears throat> might be a little bit of a problem so I think for the one in the middle I'm going to do the same thing <clears throat> that I just did on the one we just installed we'll put another piece of this rope between here and here get that thing all laced up and the eyelets on there and everything and then we'll tie it off because you can see there's a it's not it doesn't look like it has the rings yeah that, see that doesn't have the rings like these other ones have rings on the edge of the sail wrapped around the rope. This one doesn't. Where's that baby at? Figures. Should be right here. there either gotta verify that it doesn't have the rings hmm so I think that's it there Yes, in between the main and the foremast. And it doesn't show rings like, see that one's got those little...
spots on the top that look like rings. Similar to these. And there's a little detail. They show that part number 75 and those rings. So that means this one cell that's in the middle of all that mess doesn't have rings. So we will pre-tie on the bench a big rope just like we did on this one and run it through that eyelet and tie it off way low, low up underneath here because as you can see this other support rope is sort of laced together and <clears throat> the plan is not showing us attaching to that support rope we're actually a little bit above it See, there's, there's too many lines there. You can't really tell that corner. Other than going down to a pulley on the main mast. Or the foremast, rather. Yeah, there's a pulley right there. For the tail of the sail. So... And a pulley attached to the top of the sail. And then just a rope at the bottom there. Tying off to a bailing pin. So I think. Based on this drawing. And this drawing here. there, Other than a little loop lacing. It does not tie to the main line, so we'll just put a smaller rope loop lacing. One tied permanently, and then one loop from the top down to two different numbers here. So that one's going to be a little trickier than the one we just did. So I'm going to go ahead and tie the rest of these off. Get those ropes into those little pulleys. <clears throat> then we'll see about getting this middle one done before we uh, attack the easier one in the front here. The front's going to be the easiest because there's not a lot of stuff in the way. Once you get into the middle in areas, you got a lot of crap in the way. But we'll do this one next after we get these tied off. Okay, we got the other tails tied off here. I am struggling with this one. end of this is tied to an eyelet on the deck per the plans it goes to this pulley and then back to a bailing pin And the bailing pin supposedly is over there on that side. So
put a little dab of glue on the pin. Stick it down in there so you can see that glue is up on the top of the rail along the side of the pin so that'll help us when we tie. Now we gotta get this around here. actually want this to start underneath and we don't want to be on the bottom of that rope get over there on top of it I'm trying to make my upside down loop. I gotta get it looped first. Stick that around there. Pull it tight. That'll keep it from coming loose later on. I'm put a little counterweight on that to keep it while it dries. You can see in here. Got that main rope tied off. We got this one going through a pulley, down through another pulley, and then tying off on a bailing pin back there. And then this tail going through a pulley and then tying off on a bailing pin. Up here, we got a tie off on that main rope loop through a pulley, came up through the crow's nest, went through a pulley on the other side, and then down to the deck and tied it off. So now that one is done after we cut the tails, once the glue dries, <coughs> it's time to attack this hard one in the middle. So I'm going to load my gun and get over here and start getting this one ready. Verify which one it is. Get it tied to a big rope so we can install it here. Let's just see we always do, we want to try to pre-fit these. This one goes in the front. That's the easy one. Uh, yeah, that'll go right there.
and we're going to put pulleys and stuff on the end of this and then it'll fit in here I think I'll do it behind that one See how I got a little glue on these ends to keep those ends from blowing up after we start sewing pulleys and tie ropes onto those corners. Trim off these little hairs and stuff. But with no eyelets on this one, I'm wondering if I should tie a stiffener rope and just sew it through there. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Oh, that's right. There's a lace rope. Just laces a couple times in there. And then a tie on the end, another tie on this end, and a pulley on that top part. And a um, pigtail with a pulley on the bottom part. So, let's get that ready. So, <clears throat> according to our drawings, this thing is up above the like this. Okay. I had it on there backwards. So, good grief. Yeah, it's up above the jolly boat. Like that. So I'll have to tie a rope onto that rope and then cut the pulley out afterwards. This is how you screw it up. But we didn't <coughs> lose too much. So according to the drawing, so we've got a permanent tie point. It goes through the sail and then up through that pulley and then down. So there's a pulley up there. And one on the tip of the sail, but we got to make a permanent tie point behind there somewhere. So let me cut a piece of thread. be that close to the front? Yeah, I guess I do. Put that down. So I can tie it loop through once 
loop through twice put my tail up here so when I pull tight on it okay and then one granny knot on top of it on top of the double granny or the double loop granny pull that tight now put that back down and put some glue And then the quick drying glue, which is almost empty, I put a little dab of it down here on the table. And I take a little stick for thread this small it's easier to put it down on the table and pull that thread through there a couple times back up here and we got to fist this through the pulley on the end of the sail Try to grab it. Get that to go through there. I actually went through the wrong side. We got to through the back, come up. That way we can go through the front on this one and then come down to the bailing. Got my rope crossed over there. Now this one goes through the pulley up under the crow's nest. And then it's going to go down, but it's got to go through these two ropes. I'm going to re 
reclamp this over here and so I can maintain position it's gonna have to come up more but that's okay so this will go down to a baling pin <coughs> now I gotta do this other end We do have a double pulley right there. <clears throat> so if I tie it off here, go over to the sail, come back to the double pulley, and down to the bailing pin, then I could use the other side of the double pulley for this lace rope so that's the plan there another piece of thread and while that glue on the table is still wet I'm going to drag one end of that piece of thread through that glue and then wipe it off with the rag. So now this needs to get tied off on the mast somewhere. Above that pulley there. Stick it through so I can grab it. really awkward trying to tie knots with two pairs of tweezers this model maker has got a couple new models out that are all 3d design and they got some new tools out to go with it for rigging And I saw him using one of the tools in the video. It looks like they'll be a lot easier, especially tying baling pins. To have one of them tools instead of a pair of tweezers. Sort of like a little flat piece of metal with a... Uh, little groove cut in the end of it the groove is cut in the middle of the end so it allows you to uh, capture the rope and push it up under the baling pin rack or something like that instead of having a pair of tweezers trying to hold it and get it up under there I think it would work better so we got that permanently tied there so now we take this in you can see that pulley is uh not very open on the end 
or open where the hole is. Take that 0.5 millimeter drill bit. A little hair on the end of that so it makes it hang up going in the hole. So I'm looking at this pulley here. I'm going to go in this side. Maybe. That'll go down to a bailing pin. And then this lace rope. See if we can get this lace rope through there without gluing it. I doubt it. Nope. So you can see my plan of attack. I'm put some glue on that end. And over here we got this one it's going to go in two directions I think that is 727 so you see uh, 727 is off of this pulley here the pulley is 342 that's the actual pulley itself shiv, block, whatever you want to call it, but 727 is the location of termination. Location of termination near the main mast. 727 You see it before I do. Good grief. There it is. So Yeah, that's like I thought. Be on both sides. There's two 727s labeled here to go to a bailing pin on the side of the ship. In this rack over here, the bailing pin rack. So we want to glue one in there. What happened to it? Mm. That's 827, dummy. 
<clears throat> Good grief. It's how easy you mess up. 727. It should go over there too. That's the back of the ship. This is the main mast area. There it is. So it looks like both of them go to an islet on the deck. 727. And that islet is beside the bailing pin rack, which should be out here. I haven't installed those. <clears throat> they didn't show on the uh, deck plan. But they're showing there right here, so you gotta put two eye bolts in there like these. Good grief, just for one sale. See why long? It takes hours. So I'm not gonna torture you with that because got to take the drill bit try to get in there with the drill bit first so I don't have to bend the pins I'm made out of brass they'll bend real easy get a hole opened up so that I can glue the pins in there eye bolts and then we'll tie off these tails that are left and that'll be it for that sale almost want to let that be on this side, don't I? Yeah, I think I'm going to unfurl that one. Let it be on this side. No, I want it on this back side. Because the other side of the ship is the display. So we're going to leave it like that. That way you can see that big rope from the display side of the ship. the last sale on the parallel to the main rigging here. This one's going to fit in there. Yes, on the bottom rope there. I'm just glancing at the plans on the wall over there. It's going to be pretty high up in here, though. I'm going to figure out how to get a clamp on it. Hmm. Let's sort of clamp it from the top. about 10 millimeters left on that line to go up. So somewhere around there, I think. Yes, we gotta open one of these loops up. Mm. 
a little bit different on this one than I did the other ones. I after I got the loop through the cloth and closed back up, I put a little dab of super glue where it goes through the cloth. So now I have to try to find an opening in the loop. Should be all ready to go. That'll make it a little easier. Further up I go, more stuff in the way here. There's other sails in the way. So that's how we do it. that clamp out of there. Wish I had thought of that when I was doing all these other ones. It makes it a lot easier. The loop didn't go nowhere. A little dab of glue on the cloth of the cell. It also makes the loops a little straighter too. Looks a little better. So now is there a pulley up under here or where should that go? Hmm. This here. Hmm. Should go up to that one there and coat out. 756. down 
according to the big drawing on the plans the end of the sail is going down past this big fat dead eye so I gotta try to get this loop over that cinching something like that and that'll work better for this pulley up top Now we got to get some glue on the tips of those ropes so we can feed them through the pulleys. This works really well for feeding your ropes through. You just got to make sure you get it on there enough that it soaks into the fibers of the rope a little bit. Try to roll it over a couple times as I'm drawing it through the glue. So to keep the sail up, we did this one first, so it should be dry. It's going to flop around. I want to go down between those two big ones. Hooked on the cannon. These two down here are probably going to go to the same area over here. I imagine we'll look at that in a second. This one here. On the display side of the ship, so this one here to feed through on this side so we can see it. And then that'll tie off. So now where Where does this one from the top go first? Seven fifty six front mast. So 
757. Seven fifty eight. There's seven fifty seven again. So I bet you that's these other two here. Seven fifty seven. Where is seven fifty six? Ah, oh, look at there. Fifty four. There it is. Seven fifty six. Looks like I'm right on the corner. Corner facing the uh, starboard side back. Starboard side back here. Yeah, we go to start doing these yard arms. It's going to get a little congested in these areas around the bottom of the mast. Now. So I want to go down underneath the rail. Wrap it around the rail. Okay, so we got one wrap on there. Put a little counterweight down here below the deck on that. And to help us a little glue on the back side. Now let's see if we can do an upside down loop around that post. Like that. Let that dry. Now we got the one here in the front. Seven fifty eight. Seven fifty eight. We saw that somewhere, didn't we? Six.
57. Ha. 758 goes to uh, divot or a cleat near the bow sprit. 758 goes to that cleat right there. We installed those the other day. I happened to notice them on the plans. It always helps before I go to wrapping Get a little glue in there on the back side. I'm sort of looking at the run here. Make sure it's not going to be tangled up with something else. Get one wrap. Oop. And then put a clamp on it. Now I'll try to get the upside down loop. So there's my loop. I'll turn it upside down. You see how that little eyelet there is holding it. And if I pull that around to the back, which it isn't wanting to do, I just add some little glue right here. And later on, when the ship is near done, we'll use this jig that I made. this jig here and uh, each one of these sets of nails will tie you know a rope around there six to eight ten times however many times it looks good and make a loop uh, the scale of this ship is when I made this jig, it was for the other ship, the San Juan. The San Juan is a smaller, um, more, more minute detail. So I think it's a 198 scale or something like that, which means that, um, for instance, the cannons on this ship are twice as big as the cannons over there on that ship because this is 148 scale so I may make my loops bigger by instead of going between the two small areas I'll go between the two big areas instead and make a loop of 10 wraps or something glue the tail of it and then tie a little choker knot in the middle with a loop on it to hook over the baling pin and leave it hanging there and for something like this cleat we'll use that little uh, suction cup tool that we had it was made out of latex or something and we'll make a bunch of these coils to lay on the deck next to the cleat like we did for the cannons over here so it looks like you got slack so there'll be a bunch of long loops hanging for these baling pins matching the color of the rope that's on the pin so we'll have some tan 
Now those are sort of light gray. And we'll have some tan ones. And then we'll have some black ones. So we got to make a whole bunch of those. Probably 50 all together. Maybe more of different colors of thread. And stick them on there when we get done with all the rigging. And that'll make it look more realistic. So we we'll let that dry like it is with this counterweight on there. And the last two ropes here. Well, that worked out just right where this is just shy of it. Those last two ropes. Seven fifty seven. And just like we thought. We saw that there it is 757 goes to the side hmm looks like it stops no it goes to the side of the anchor hoist framing because this other one that is next to it stops on the side of the ship in the railing somewhere based on that angle so we're going to make this one go to the outside of the frame of the anchor hoist and we have three cleats on each side of the anchor hoist we've already used one for this other sail so let's use this one here I'm looking at the plan again yeah it's close to this uh, shaft point so that's the one we're going to use right there so here again we want to get a little glue in there makes it so much easier to do the tying I'm moving the camera a little bit so I can get my tweezers in here. And I want this to be sort of in the middle there, so I gotta be careful how much tension I put on this. Sort of gauging my tension. Pull that back too much. Somewhere about there. I'll go around twice. help hold that the right length there now I gotta try to make that loop I've got it turned upside down 
sometimes the straight tweezers are better than the bent ones. Oops. Oh my gosh. Mm. I get that knot to pull up. That's good there for tension. Move the counterweight over to this one. Put a dab of glue on that knot. Then all we got left to do after we cut the tails is the same thing on the other side. We want to be around that one right there. I gotta reach in there with something. Alright, now for the loop. sales are done next week we start on yard arms see here the yard arms are all ready to go of course we got to sew the sails on there and that's what we'll probably do that on the bench similar to what we did on these we get the sail attached to the yard arm and get all the ropes pre-tied to the tail corners long enough to do whatever the ropes got to do but we try to get those pre-sewn onto the yard arm before we take that yard arm and put it up on the ship and this is going to take a couple of weeks, if not more, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. No sale on that one. Seven, eight. I'll be lucky to get one mast a week. Ta da! Now right, let's turn that around. Because this will be the display side here as we build a case for it later on.
Yeah, I definitely want to cut one of these ropes and put this on the back of that. It'll look better. Sort of like this one back here. Looks better with it in the back. The wind's blowing from this side, so we got to have the sail on the other side of this rope. That's the only one I didn't wrong, did it wrong. Probably because the plan showed me to land on this point here, but I don't know. I think about that. There's another another one on the other side. <coughs> Definitely would look better though. Well, progress is moving onward to the wooden model ship, HMS Bounty. Thanks for watching.